like the picks from Team Dog are really weird. 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 They're a little bit different. Yeah. And do we get a, a Sun King here as well? And but we're okay, just but like I wanted. Do, 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 do. I wanted to mention the Shadow Demon Centaur because mm -hmm. it's like a you instantly die setup. That was um, DK on Star Ladder. Yeah. Doing that over and over and over. Oh, they, uh, they, had they, they had Invoker as well. Yeah. yeah. But it was Center Shadow Demon get the deeps. Yeah, man. Did yeah. he pick the Lunar Burst. as well? Dog. <clears throat> I suppose they could, but there's already a Bat Rider and an Earthshaker on the other team. So, in terms of like defensive posturing, I think Team Dog actually have a, a little bit of an advantage here. Of course, we still have a couple more heroes to be picked by both teams, but I like the flexibility that Team Dog actually have right now. And the way that Bruno has set up the lanes, um, I'm just assuming the Shadow Demon and the Centaur are going to be together. Like, that's okay. basically the only assumption yeah, yeah. that I have right now. Beep boop. The Dark Seer is probably likely to be mid, but we're not 100% on that either. Nope. Could be solo safe. Okay, so let me throw a Y1 the up there. I don't think this is likely. Solo mid, keep her delay. Incoming. What if you go SD, Centaur, double roam, Jesus. and have Centaur support? Fanatics I don't think you can double roam until like level two pick. or three yeah. of those heroes. Because you just stomp once, and you're out of mana out of the center. And you don't I really get that much damage no. unless you can At put in At the very soul least, level two. Yeah. Because 175 from level one double edge is pretty substantial, mm -hmm. and you'll have Soul Catcher by that point, so I think that's enough for a kill. But I do not think that a, um, a level one Centaur Shadow Demon gank is enough. Now, if you add a little bit more damage from maybe like an Ion Shell or something, maybe. But Ten I think it's still a tall order until you get a couple of levels. Ooh. Will Dire the Koro give mana? No, you under. Okay, so they oh, have this, eggs. They have this get steam eggs. problem. It's called Nambo. No, it's called map hack. You yeah, just you get eggs no, 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 here's the thing. The, the, if if the cuddle goes Ag Scepter, the uh, darkness is counterproductive. Yeah, it's counterproductive. You stop healing people. Nambo. Yeah, no, but if the Night Stalker... You get to heal people all the time. The ult still stays on, but if the Night Stalker gets an Aghanims too, you can still see anyway. Yeah, yeah the heal, the heal only heals all the time, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. The heals all no, the time. No, 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 the heal's not all the time. It is. It the is. Heals, right? I think the heal's only during the day. Pretty sure. Look it up. And the vision. I, I'm going to look it up. I, I thought right. the vision is just... No, it's, uh, I think it's vision and thing. We're Listen, we're professionals. We know. Fanatics just keep talking. Yeah, I actually have no idea because I don't play Keeper of the Light. I haven't played them since the patch. Not have I, actually. <laughs> I've played against a lot of them. I haven't really bothered to check and see if the thing actually healed during the day, because... They were dead. You usually just... <laughs> yes. The game is over by the time remaining. you finish Axe there, one way or another. I'm almost there. Five seconds almost there. Remaining. I'm almost okay, so there. let's talk about Team Dog a little bit right now, because I feel like this Night Stalker is going to have a little bit of a bad time until he gets a BKB. But once he does, I really feel like they're going to have to pretty much use Purge, specifically on Night Stalker, although I'm not really sure with Fnatic's lineup who else you would use it on ever anyway. He's not so. bad rider. Do you yeah, think he's going to have that kind of hard time? Because the way I look at it, Team Dog has nothing but magical damage, and Night Stalker is very, very tanky. Upgradable but Agony Scepter allowing Illuminate to heal allies for 75% of its damage values during daytime. 10 seconds mm. remaining. Fnatic's turn Nambo. to pick. Nambo. Oh, there you go. Okay, and now he's gonna have even a worse time because Viper he is nice like under mid. the saddest. Maybe they just like take turns killing people. So like Keeper Light goes to the jungle during the night, and then tags in Night Stalker during. <laughs> it's not good. I'm, I think we might see one of those uh, games that Andy was suggesting, the the turtle games. Yeah, figure illuminate. Yeah, I. Yeah. I the thing is, though, All you need they need to PL. pick a super late game Five hero if yes. yeah, they're going to plan on turtling. Phantom Lancer. Yeah. Also needs to be a hero that's not that easy to get. The PL will get wrecked by Darkseid in the lane, so I don't know about that. The PL would get wrecked at all stages Five of the game seconds. against Team Are you still talking? No, it's fine. Whatever. Oh, wait, their wait. last and only remaining race, really. Hmm. They, they just want... It's like, hey. Okay. Yeah. They want the Priestess of the Moon, but... They want to confuse your opponent. Ah, well, so he's like, gonna be able to see the imminent death coming from like really far away. Good point. <laughs> I'm I'm not sure. Like I was thinking, since you can get Earthshaker and Coddle, you can play offensive because of your range potential. Sure. Yeah. But against the Nyx and the Viper, that one point of Nether Toxin will make you slow. The Nyx will return the damage. I, I don't. And now with Luna, I don't think you can actually go offensive. I think you have to go defensive. I think Luna makes you be able to go offensive because you have the aura. Like yeah. you actually have. Movement well, speed, it's, it's only for the range. It, it's only for the cuddle, and you can't trade hits as a Luna against a Viper. Well, we're assuming farming. Centaur. We're center mid. No, I'm assuming Fata's going mid. 
Five seconds remaining. I mean, like Viper mid plus yes. farming centaur. Farming centaur. Okay. Right. right. And Joe Darks here offlane Nyx or maybe dual offlane. Yeah, sounds good. I mean, they could. That's what I'm saying. But we just need to decide who's farming basically on the team. Well, they need no, to No, I think it's Viper mid, Darkseer offlane, Trilane Tri top, top yeah. with Nyx and Shadow Demon support. Yeah, but Nyx SD is such a meh roaming combo. You know what I mean? Like the damage that they deal is pretty not existent. <coughs> well, does our player reveal anything? Misery and pop? <laughs> Boom. That's the way I'm seeing it. And yeah, that's, that's the game plan. Unless they send Pike up mid against Night Sucker, which they could do, I guess. Wait, apparently my mic mute doesn't work anymore. Hmm. Unfortunate. I can hear you. No, that's what I'm saying. Like, it doesn't, doesn't work. It's like I couldn't mute myself because uh, I had to cough. Well, you had not and does not. <laughs> and I, I, like, I wanted to mute before I coughed because I thought that, you know, common courtesy. And then it doesn't work. Is uh, Notel going to do some weird shit with his quelling blade? Could be. Yeah. Ooh, does well, he have the uh, EG Earthshaker set? The yep. one that makes the Earth... That is a really cool yeah, set, to be honest. Insane. Yep. Mm -hmm. It even changes his spell icons, bro. And the animations. Hmm. And I think that like it lights up with fire when you enchant it as well. Yeah, it's really cool. Thirty seconds to battle. Seconds well, it looks like uh, you no tails up to something. Uh oh. Get out and bushes. The oh, new I... cheese is coming. <laughs> is this cheddar or American? It's definitely Swiss. cheddar. It's okay. Easily. This is like sharp cheddar. I'm gonna just sit and watch him. It's gonna be a dark star offlane, which does he respond well to cheese in general? Like let's say they do this the something like begins. stack up eight waves. I think Darkseid could deal with eight waves. Eight, eight waves. Yes. Eight wa eight? Who, who eight. could deal with eight? Darkseid can. Yeah, the Tide Hunter could. Doesn't yeah, even Tide care. Yeah, Tide Hunter could. Yeah, you guys thought shield, level one anchor smash, man. Sixty percent damage. You take no damage if you proc us out. Yeah. Literally. In and actually, case. if you're one point into Kraken and one point into Anchor Smash, and you Anchor Smash the Grief Wave, you actually don't take damage. You get a 60% of like 21 to 23 damage or something like that, so they hit right. for less than 10. Balling Fissure! No Fissure. What is he up to? I think he's just seeing if MSS goes maybe a little bit too far and he can just Fissure across the whole lane, because you can do that now as Earth Shaker, because mm -hmm. it's long enough. Well, unfortunately, but there's the thing is, he, he actually pushes the wave out so hard that even if they find one of those situations where he might be up a little bit, I think they just can't fight because of the creep wave, which is a little bit unfortunate. Yep. Mm -hmm. There goes that. I think this is actually not as bad for Fnatic as we had originally thought. Sure, Hani might be having a little bit of a hard time in the middle lane, but bottom is st still going to be able to find farm. MSS is going to have to try to tango his way out here. He's currently blocked. He will Ooh, be fine. Eliminate will miss as well, so he's fine. Yeah. yeah. But I think just because um, Void is actually a relatively low mana cost ability for Night Stalker, and you can Bottle Crow, he should still be able to find a decent amount of farm. The only thing is Fnatic are really not going to be moving a whole heck of a lot until Trixie gets his blink, and then they're going to want to roam with Hani and Trixie together. I don't think a solo Night Stalker roaming is going to be able to accomplish much this game. Yeah. At the same time, even though they don't have the best roaming hero, you could easily move Earthshaker to the mid lane and help Hani if he's getting roamed upon. And I imagine Poss as well as Misery is going to start to look to do a little bit of early game roaming. Uh, Poss, level 2 almost, and Misery, level 2 with Boots of Speed. If they roam mid on Hani as Night Sucker, I think he's in a lot of trouble. I mean, it depends on what build that Fata's going for. He does have uh, Poison Even Attack. Even one point, point in Poison Attack. But he's so tanky though. Look, look, look at him, 720 HP, 6 armor. They actually can't kill him unless he's either horrendously out of position or the Viper is six. Yeah. Those are pretty much the scenarios that need to happen in order to kill Hani. So in that sense, I actually think it's a fairly good pick for a mid. I want they picked it fourth, right? Yes. Yeah. yeah, okay. So they had already seen the Shadow Demon and they had already seen the Nyx. Because I think Dog last picked Viper. But uh, what we can both no, agree upon they did, is they did, okay. What we could agree upon is the fact that he's gonna lose a lane, right? Like sure he's not gonna die, but Viper is gonna just out CSU and deny He's not losing that hard. I mean, he's only down once. Yeah, sure, he doesn't have any denies, but that's to be expected. And denies don't hurt the melee hero as badly as it would be. If it was they changed the, up. Oh, they changed it. Yeah, it's equal. Now. Fissure, and it's going to block the whole wave here. We're going to see a beam. No, we not. Oh, oh the right click damage is going to come through. Flying's going to drop first blood. Nicely done. Yeah. Can't quite remember. 
I, that's actually something that I wasn't expecting to happen. Like, the possibility to get Fissure blocked in is always there, but you just expect somebody to always be like properly positioned or not play it too greedy. And heck, even if he thought he was going to die, he could do what he's just doing now, which is just go to the jungle. I, I think the really the, the Quelling Blade prep on, on the right side of trees allowed him to get that, and, and the whole warding into the lane. Uh, yeah. Perfect bridge. I just want to point out that when MYM got first blood last game, nobody clapped. So <laughs> there's something wrong with... Fanatic fans, even though nobody raised yeah, their hand, they still clap. Secret They're fanatic shy. fans, yeah. yeah. Flip floppers, man, like Lumi. <laughs> what? It's like yeah. one minute you love a team, the next minute they're feeders. No clown 9 TF4 champ. I'm still calling that one. All right, so farming Centaur, we uh. Dyer's bottom tower has fallen. Check. Oh, some experience switching here from Honey. Gonna find MSS in the woods. He's got face Radiant's boots. He can actually go for a kill here. He can. He needs the silence. Oh. oh. <laughs> got the creeps though. Dyer's so close. Bottom yeah. tower Maybe he wants to some. Hit the boat, Misery. He really wants to try to go for the kill here. Oh, Poss is here as well. Lucent Beam gonna hit on Misery. Turn around with the Impale. They might be able to get air as well. Soulcatcher's gonna be there. TP reaction coming in. Fanta, he managed to get one. The dish from, from long distance. No tail, all of a sudden, not as happy place. It's only trialing dead. Three kills going to Team Dog. That and ninja creep giving them the vision for the disrupt as well. Yeah, the, the most important thing, I think, about picking these three kills up is your supports. Look at them, almost level five. And if you look on the other side, Earthshaker is three and a half, and Keeper of Light is two and a half. Now, he has uh, a fat stack. Yeah, though. he does have a fat stack in the jungle. That would be nice for him. Unless they scaled well, it. Probably Trixie's gonna take it though. Oh man, that was that was quite quite bad turnout there for Fnatic. Oh. And now fata has got an invis. There's no TP on Arrow. Arrow's gonna have time to get away. He's on level five, no Eclipse. Yep, see ya. Misery even comes down here, misses the stun. Typical zoner. support contribution. Who's his owner? <laughs> yeah, it's fine. I think he gets assist to his name for that. He gets the goal though, stun. gets yeah. the cash. That's fine, that's the more important thing, but that end game scoreboard. So we talked about the early game and, oh, actually gonna have to hold that box. Tricks, he might be tall. Wow. There's, there's the double edge. It's brutal. Yeah. Team Dog looking uh, pretty solid in terms of the kills they've been able to get. But Seven it's... minute blink. Not bad. Well, if he wants to buy it. Okay, we have No Tail smoking to enemy jungle, dropping one deep observer ward. Might be in a little bit of trouble here because Passes. Well, they should oh, see so him dead. eventually. He's once... so dead. Yeah, he's. Pycat just got his blink. He's, he's super dead. Okay. Oh, Where's that disrupt? Where's the Where's the Okay, there you go. Some catcher. Some Some catch catch so Where's the blink? Benny, <gasps> Okay, that was not so great. Um, oh god. Home to low ground. Yep. And then now he's actually dead, right? Where's the enchant totem? Oh, he doesn't have it yet, does he? No, oh, he's not. Look at him! The fire, though. I'll have to risk it. So he's actually not so dead. And here comes Hani with the face boots. Going up Poss. Poss is going to soul catch her. The surge. Get him out of there. He's running fast and he's not going to be okay. All right. Why did Pycat wait so long? I don't know. That's the only reason No Tail actually lived there, because he waited like an eon to Maybe go in there. Maybe he thought he had enchant totem. I think he was trying to. Who cares? I don't, I don't think he would have time to cast in chat. No, he wouldn't. He, he, he would just, just get died. immediately stunned. Yeah. Oh. A freebie is not bad. 
know, that was weird. It was a little bit strange. And the nice thing is too that all those like TPs and well not TPs but like a, like reaction that dog had to do there, like we saw MSS was up there as well. It just means that a little bit of extra room that Era has to not have to worry about dying. And in terms of ultra late game, I think Fnatic are probably going to have a bit of an advantage. Night Stalker can play a semi carry role. The later the game gets, you're going to have Blinker Shaker. You're going to have Bat Rider initiation as well. I think dog. Like, their initiation is Centaur. Like, yeah. he blinks in, he uses his ult, they try to go for kills there. Plus, Viper isn't really a uh -oh. hard one. Oh, Era, he's gonna get spotted out. Oh, he's got a clips. Disrupt goes off, actually on the wrong hero. Now, Koss, he might be the bad end of the clips. They're gonna pop the Stampede as well. Era, he's gonna die to the double edge. The Soul Catcher on him as well. Pycat, though, gonna get killed by a Void. They're gonna be able to find Koss as well. So the rest of Fnatic are around. It's a two for one but they managed to find Era. I think if you're a Fnatic, if you're going for the late game, you say, hey man, we lose Era, that's fine. We have four people getting that experience. More importantly, I think Hani's actually going for the Hannah Midas, so that goes speaks to the, the late game that you're talking about. I'm not sure whether you should be going for a nice Hannah Midas. Honestly. He it's always does. He always does, favorite yeah. item, isn't it? Hey man, Hani and I don't see eye to eye on a lot of things. This we do see. Let's get Midas on everything, man. Yeah. It's really annoying. And then in before, Artizi <laughs> makes a tweet. It's like, why are people getting Hannah Midas? What are they tweet? Don't buy a Midas if it if you don't know how to potentially use potentially yeah, change the like impact that. of your hero. Hani though, trying to shoot the stuns, manages to do so. Misery just can't. He, he really wanted to. Who won MVP last week? Misery. Misery. Uh -huh. Not MVP this week. <laughs> For two misses. Uh, what if he gets a five man impale in a row, man? What if he gets Radiant two five man impales? Does that fortified. bring it back? Maybe. Maybe thought like last. Oh, that's really harsh Radiant's critic, man. Nah, it's, fine. it's hard to hit it. Man. You can't target it anymore. He was so ridiculous when you could target your stun. You just spin around and look. Yeah. Oh, teleport coming in. It's gonna be Trixie, oh. who has shown oh, off nice his blink dagger. Fata's kind of the wrong side of the tower. Fata. Oh, there's actually room there for him to get out. He's fine. I mean, uh, yeah. I don't Radiant's think Zach can push this without Max. Under attack. Under attack. Meanwhile, fat gold on Euro. 500? 500, yeah. <laughs> he's man. getting there, man. Once he gets it home, he'll, he'll he's get He's like, to. in 20 more minutes, I'm going to show you guys. Generation! Oh. Coming in. They'll <laughs> smoke a doodle. Radiance bottom tower. These are one under of the attack. perfect lineups to play greedy when you have the Earthshaker. Oh, uh, rip, honey. Oh. Them, oh, can My mind is can't even. <laughs> he's dead. Uh, does he go. Armlet? No, you still go mine. Okay. You're like just. This that is was when a bad I go, luck. This is when I go armlet. I'm like, fuck it. Never getting it. It's not really that bad of luck. I mean, no one was farming top. No one was farming mid. Their whole team was missing. Hmm. I oh, know, man. Science. Trixie throwing out the casual uh, casual firefly so the creeps die in the tower. And the ninja Hadouken. Yeah. And fly. Radiant's <laughs> middle tower is the Hadouken. Attack. I don't even know. It's, it's not. What is it then? It's horses. It's ponies, man. Like Lord of the Rings? Yeah. It's definitely closer to that than it is a Hadouken. Oh. We haven't even seen a Hadouken. Oh. Oh. Top lane, dead. Oh no, oh, Fissure's gonna be there. No mono oh. for Enchant. He's gonna oh, eclipse backwards and it's gonna be dead. What a counter gank from Luna. And that's what I'm talking about. When Luna gets that fat cash. <coughs> oh, Fata. I'd be in some trouble here. He's gonna turn it though. Nice yeah, he's fine. He uses his ult. He's so tanky. Away. Denial. Yeah, he bought a Ring of Region and then he bought an Ogre Club, so maybe he's just like. Normally, people buy the point booster. Is he still going Ags? Or is he going BKB? Halbrut. What? He's going Halbrut. No. Maybe. Mech into Ags, man. He does that much right click, though. Usually, you buy a Halberd like, as somebody finishes a big item. Era's big item is a Helm of the Dominator. Yeah. Life lack there. thereof. He doesn't. Yeah, he doesn't even have a helmet of dominator yet. What did he buy? In 20 minutes. He won't be able to life steal because he'd be halberd. Genius. This game is actually like extremely close. Even though you could say dog are slightly advantage in the sense that their supports are a bit over farmed. I don't think it's extremely close. I think Fnatic is like <laughs> the greed lords and they're getting away with it. You don't think dog are doing enough? No, I don't think they are. Like, if eventually, I, I imagine Team Dog's gonna win that fight, but not before he gets last on the mid lane. I don't think they could get this kill. They're sliding up. Look at him. Every spot's been dropped. He's at half HP. The cell's gonna come in and everybody runs out. Yeah. And, and No Tail's probably gonna end up dying for it. No, no they didn't stampede. Fine. Yeah. Wow. 
All right, talking about getting away with uh, with a fail gank right there. So if you're Team Dog, yeah, you're gonna win some fights because your game, your, your team is a lot more early game. You're gonna take a tier one and tier two, but Fnatic, they're just gonna out late, I think. I don't know if they've Shadow Demon on Darks here, who are good against like Luna, like him. I think both of them heroes kind of do a well, lot. Well, Shadow Demon is actually like as a support, incredibly good late game. Yeah. But it's also gonna be down to the initiation, right? Like Bat Rider and Earthshaker against. Like, Assassin and a blank centaur. Potentially yeah, 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 getting a blink as too. well. If it's like a yeah, so it, it, I think it could go either way. Now Fnatic's gonna try another gank up top. They will not have lasso for this one. I think trying to get Fata uh, is a little bit over ambitious. If you don't have Eclipse, Pika, I think essentially it's the same thing, especially a when you have way easier to kill. Well, uh, way easier. If to you kill. could get off a stampede. Uh, but if he has a blink lasso, it's a pretty low chance that that's they gonna happen. They don't have it here. They don't have it here. Yeah, Trixie's there. No, no, no. Well, it's not up. Yeah. yeah. It soon. will be soon. Soon. <laughs> but they don't have honey. They're just farming, man. You know, the problem with this is that they have three people sitting top, but Era's not farming bottom because he's terrified yeah, because he doesn't see anybody. He's shaking in his boots. So he can't even go to the creep wave, even though nobody's even close to him. So, uh, literally 10 people on the map, nobody's farming right now. Yeah, it's it. just everyone's sitting there. Oh, they're actually going to pull Era in. Okay. Because so they're, this is they're gonna afraid, be, um, I think. They need the deeps, man. This is going to be the honey solo farming next knocker. No, he's DPing as well. It's five-man smoke. Come on, be I don't even know tower, what's going dude. on right now, man. Roshan, that'll be big, because nobody's... Okay, they're there. actually going to go to the... All right, All right, trade towers. Fine. Honey's like, screw this, need to buy this. I'm actually cheering so hard for Fnatic right now because they're the only team so far that would draft me an 80-minute game. Because this is an 80-minute grim draft if I've ever seen one. Could be. The way they're playing it, anyway. Yeah, man. Hope it's not an 80-minute game. For everyone's Dyer's sanity. top tower is under attack. Ain't no problem. After this game, there's four more. So they're trading towers here, Radiant's but I think they're actually going to go for two. They've already attack. TP'd people to mid. So actually, I like this from Dog because they're going to have they're gonna force Fnatic basically to TP away. They know they only need one person to kill the bottom tier one, and they're gonna make Trixie TP to tier two, and the rest of Fnatic fallen. will be soon to follow, and now they can choose to take a fight Radiant's if they want. But now if they get fallen. picked off, here comes the lasso, it's gonna be on Pi, we're gonna see a perfect enchant for perhaps Trix is gonna hit on the rest of the team. Disruption's gonna come in on top of wall. We want MSS, what do they impale? That's gonna hit on everybody. No clip was used, and Trixie, can he fly out of there? Yes, he can, just barely. MSS taking a little bit of tower shots, illuminate, not clipping MSS on the background tier one. One, though, is Radiant's dropping fast, and I think they were going to get it. Yeah, they will. Nice disruption. Yeah, very nice. Yeah, Pots has been on point with these yeah, disruptions. Yeah. Bot, oh, what a pick off on the back line here. Can yeah. he, Radiant's he, middle tower he doesn't have enough attack. attack. Okay. Or no, it was on cooldown, never mind. Secure tier one. Yeah, Hani, though, Radiant's looking for Pycat, unable to really do much of anything. Where has Hani been Dyer's this whole time? Farming, might have, man. He just needs to be there for his team. Like when I see Fly's so nice like, soccer, I thought like aggression. Fly just said, come here, stop farming. Help us. We need you. Yeah, I think that series of exchange of towers and fight really did with Team Dog. Not because they want it, but he key, key item wise. He listened. Hey, just close him. Oh, oh he's got the through. mech. Yeah, if you look at Nyx Assassin, he, he's got Blink Dagger, Dyer's and he picks it up right now. I, I feel that with Blink, Mech already up on MSS, they will pressure these towers more. And going back to the point I made earlier, I don't when I said Team Dog wasn't doing enough, they need to do this, like trade towers early, open the map up, so it allows your Nyx Assassin uh, and your Stampede Stand to, to get more ganks off. So they, they should just swing up top and take that tower as well. I just feel like the coordination right now from Fnatic is a little lacking. I mean... What Dog did there was a really nice move because it basically ensured that they were going to be able to pressure two towers simultaneously while Fnatic were only able to pressure one. And is, um, he has a why is he injured? He he's like, yeah, he's, it's bugged. It's like 80% how? No, he's fine. He's like, ah, I was just messing around. It's no big deal. And yeah, it looks like he's going to go Aghanims straight after the, uh, the Midas choice. So he's going to be pretty tanky. He's going to do nothing though. The thing about Night Stalker is that he's a really good gem carrier when you have uh, Scepter, obviously, because you can just see pretty much everything. It kind of tricks you, though, because you can't actually see the range you can see. Yeah, the gem doesn't have as big a radius yeah. as the gem that you get from Eganims at night, yeah. That is true. But you can see a lot. He's seen some things. Many things. Dark things. 
They haven't seen Misery's blinker. Nope. And Era is still very, very far away from where he needs to be in terms of overall farm. I think this is the point in the game where dogs are going to feel pretty darn strong. Like they can just be confident and push oh, it. No. He didn't actually care pace that. He just got hit by it. It's fine. Radiant's Do you remember uh, was it Puffy at TO2? Yes. Yeah. Well oh. before his time. Talking about it, man. He's like, I had like all these crazy attack. theories about why Peggy's like, oh, I just wanted the carapace illuminates. I'm like, oh, okay, that's pretty good. Bata also with Axe up here completed uh, makes damage output. I don't think damage output is the problem here for Team Dog. They just need to get in the fights and, and take Fnatic with it. Fnatic is just like, gonna split push. I think before when you said that Fnatic were getting away with farming in the passive early game, I kind of agreed. But now I don't think, like, Dog can't sit back that much longer. Like, they've gotten the tier 1 mid, they've gotten the tier 1 bottom. They could very easily go for Roshan and force a fight around Roshan, and I think it would still go favorably for them. I think Fnatic would just give up the Aegis. Yeah. That they're playing. Well, we'll find out in a bit. But at the same time, like you pointed out earlier, like, Nero's not farming a lot because he's just afraid. So, and he's going for a BKB first, which is nice. It's gonna help him survive, but it's not exactly a greed build. Well, he's got level 2 Eclipse, which is, I think, kind of all the contribution he's gonna need right now. If Fnatic managed to isolate one person and you just kill him straight up, even if you have to use Eclipse, say it's Fata, for example, or maybe it's PyCat, then you can still just win the fight, right? So if he has to use his ulti in that type of situation and they get a kill out of it, I think it's fine. He doesn't necessarily fight in a right click. Here we go. Disruption is going to prevent him. Poison is canceling the blitz. He's going to get used and they're going to go in. Honey on the right side here. Blink cloud. They're going to get fly. Fly nearly dead. Here comes the clips that you talked about. Echo slam coming in from no tail. Don't get two immediately. Daisy Papa hates He's going to get picked up by Hani. And he's going to just dive deep. Shadow Demon always in the back line, but he's not really going to contribute much. Another finger from no tail. This battle Earthshaker is in the middle of everything. Two man and tail is going to come through from the backside. They get Trixie, MSS flying back, as well as the Centaur. And I think they're going to get a Karma of return kills. No, Arrow. Running it out. I don't think he'll make it back home attack. though. Meanwhile, No Tail has TP'd out. I don't think that's actually too poor of a fight for Fnatic, to be honest. They made three buybacks? Two, three buybacks. They got a couple core kills. Can they actually stop this Roshan though? It was two. I don't think they can stop it, but it's going to be slow. Dyer's top like, tower you don't have really attack. any damage dealers here. Honey is still kind of nearby, but it's daytime. Yep. The return, man. Nobody does enough damage to Roshan right now. <laughs> actually, can actually tank it. They're all just like, eh, we actually don't do anything. Fly has ultimate in two seconds, and Batrider's coming back. So if you call the bat in, I think that will stop the Roshan. Well, yeah, they can't can. do it. Like, that's what I mean. Like, it's not that necessarily Fnatic would or wouldn't pressure them. It's that their heroes cannot do it. They needed Fata. Be huge play from Fnatic. Yeah. That's exactly what they needed. I'm very impressed with No-Tail's uh, placement of Fissures. Which I'm the echo slam as well. Yeah, he just kind of walks his way way in. He's almost got blink. If he survives this fight, he is gonna get blink. Paralyzed with fear because of the items, man. <laughs> because medics. Yeah. Well, they're still doing Roshan, and I'm pretty sure Fnatic are not contesting. Yep, they're just giving it up. No tail and uh, Trixie are actually just running away. No clips. No shot. Cool has on. fallen yeah. to the dark. So you fight that hard for Roshan. And then the other team buys back, but you can't actually get in position in time to stop it. Yeah, stop the second Roshan. Hogs still technically are okay with that trade. Well, like no, buybacks. I don't think they could have fought without their like spells. Yeah, buybacks in this part of the game I don't think are as important, but important in the way that it doesn't cost them much, right? Like to buy back. It's probably like what 700, 800 yeah, gold or something like that, that yeah. to buy back right now. Less if it's a Kyrzy or Roshan, then you're good to go. So you feel that with the Roshan dog came out ahead of that exchange? Yeah. 600 okay. and... Not by as much as they wanted to originally. Ooh, if they pick off Era here, this is going to be a big one. Misery already scouting him out. They have Blink Dagger to really land a stun, but they don't have the follow-up. If they want to use the Stampede, no. Just harass. And it cancels the recall, so pretty nice. That was like well, really They're going to see Fata, but they can't come out with just two. He's got Aegis as well. I don't think it's worth the, the risk. So they'll back off. I don't think Radiant's they're gonna see any. Uh... Tower is under attack. What the? Alright, okay. That, that was weird. Well, he wanted to 
stop the push because he knows that they're going to be five manning this tower. Radiant's oh, bottom tower. Oh, fly. Just gets annihilated by the blink care pace of misery. Gets mana burn behind the tier one and ends up dropping. So, so much for defending this tower. Well, they have blink echo Radiant's actually. But the thing is, they can, just, they can just put Fata in the front. They don't have to have to commit anyone else to the tower. It's pretty much the same with Blink Echo. Yeah, here he comes. We're going to see Disruption's going to come in. Me with Blink Echo on the back line, just disrupting the entire team. They're going to go and pop, pop the silence. He gets beamed down. Blink stun on two walls on top of that. Here comes Era, though, but he's going to get blown up by Mata. Mata, he doesn't care because he's got the Aegis Hani trying to outrun it. Misery, me on the back line, he's going to find Trixie. Trixie's going to get stunned. A couple more right clicks. He's going to be dead as well. Team Doc overrunning Fnatic. That's a tier one. They're going to go for tier two and with Half the team dead, they're gonna get a free tower as well. Does that make up for Misery's plays earlier? I it think was, it does. It was a good heads up play, but the thing is, the initiation was so obvious. Like, Fnatic fought a 4v5, and the Viper had an Aegis. Like, that was actually just a really bad call to fight that in general. I don't, I don't get why they would do that. Radiance top tower is under know. attack. Oh, well, they're gonna be able to stun Hani behind a tier two. Healthy as well from Fata. Fisher though gonna block a couple of people. Pycat silence gets voided as well. Hani still continue the auto attack. Needs to run though. Can't really fully commit to this fight. So they defend the tier two, but they gave away like their whole team for it. And Era died again. Hmm. It's so tanky. Not like the front line here is so beefy. Like white jokes. Oh, that's the retreat stampede. Oh, the fissure from No Tail and the lasso. Talk about teamwork. They actually can't get to him. He's dead. Yep. No Aegis on this one. Oh, that's, that's, that might be a little bit uh, optimistic. Ooh, oh, is chasing Hanny's in. He's got X Center, so he's got Sight, MSS. He, oh, what? Blank flicks us out. They still no. see him. The beam's going to catch. MSS dead. That's a freebie. I think they should go to tier two because the previous buyback is really going to delay the respawn time for this one. Oh, not that much. It's only 40 seconds. All right, okay. <laughs> It's not like 50 minutes yeah, in, yeah, yeah, it's like 25. Okay. Well, that's going to give Luna at least time to finish her BKB, which is pretty key. Radiant's I think if they let Luna have 10 more minutes, it's like kind of a bit sketchy for Doug. He's, yeah, he needs an item on top of that BKB. This is the most important thing. Like, the BKB is a step in the right direction in terms of being able to live. But before he's actually a threat outside of his ultimate, he needs, like, a BKB Manta or a BKB Butterfly or something else yeah. that actually gives him damage. I think maybe going just for full satanic after the BKB wouldn't be bad. I mean, your damage is going to be lacking a bit, but you know you're going to be alive. Yeah, but if you get a satanic against the Viper and you yeah. don't have a Manta, you're not going to be able to really attack anything with your... I don't know, I feel like BKB Manta out. also not going to... Damage output is not going to be that good. Maybe Yashra back into satanic. Yeah, but it's not just about the damage for the Manta. It's about having the ability to, like, Manta-specific things. Like the Viper ulti. Yeah, like you yeah, can you can't Manta. Dodge, you can dodge a Viper ult, yes. And plus, it's having the mobility as well. Like, the movement speed is really important. When you're Luna and you have such short range, being able to position yourself properly is something that's pretty important. Yeah, it's kind of less dealer. Oh, Fata getting caught again, being pulled away from Paz, and a nice zoning fissure. Paz is not going to be able to disrupt the bullet. Comes in, no tail, immediately pops his Echo Slam, but it's going to get care paced. Vacuum on two. MSS comes in with the blank, now Trixie. He wants to get out of here. He's going to go for a TP. Misery does not have enough mana for a stun. He's going to be able to make it out. MSS uses vacuum. Mid lane here, it's gonna be blink initiation on Era. Era is gonna just straight out BKB TP. Not exactly the best use of his 10 second. Better than dying. Yeah, better than that. A lot better. The no. amazing thing is that Era still has the second highest net worth in the game, even after having died, what, Whoa. like a million times? Yeah. At I least. mean, he's been taking a lot of stacks. He, I think he took a 3 4 ancient stack earlier, so mm, that yeah. definitely helped out. I think that was just the first one. That was the first stack he took. Oh, okay. Well, technically, that is still earlier. It's in the past. Yeah, but he said, listen. To Semantics. Semantics? Stacks. Semantics, yes. Oh, he's beautiful looking, though. So everyone talks about the coddle change and how you can get Aghanim Scepter on support. What do you guys think? How's hey, his farm? If, if we go to 79 minutes. 79 minute game. Yeah, he'll have it by then. He's countered by Night Soccer, though, on his own team. That's the big thing, though, right? And I wanted to bring it up because people often I forget that a, the coddle is played as a five. Like, there's... There's very seldom a game where the Coddle's going to be a 4 instead of a 5. But here's the thing, back to your argument for that. Like, he's playing as a 5, but he's constantly illuminating creeps, and it, he's going to kill them. Dude, he's got less net worth than No-Tail. Well, the, the reason that he's not really getting that much farm is because there's a Nyx Assassin on the other team. Like, Nyx literally spikes it, and he's like, oh shit, I'm dead. Dude, we all got to overcome adversity somehow. Okay, I don't think you should play Coddle with him when there's Nyx. It's just hard games. They picked Nyx after Coddle. Yep. 
kind of scary. Oh, go, don't go back up there. That was pretty scary. Oh, shit. I didn't realize his face looked that yeah. crazy. Get Danny Glover in here and take him out. You know? <laughs> All right, so Dog clearly in a pretty good position right now. Uh, they're getting a little bit out farm in the two cores in that sense, but like overall farm and experience Dog are a tiny bit ahead. Radiance bottom I think Fnatic are actually doing a really good job of not giving away too much. I think fighting top Radiant was a little bit silly. But other than that, I don't think they've made any like glaring mistakes this game. Yep, Glyph being drawn out. Glyph timings are very key as well, especially in, uh, against a team that pushed so fast and so hard. Here comes a... Fnatic pretty much fly. need to win this game as well, to say, in Sunday. Close. It's close, yeah. but uh, winning against Team Dog would be a big confident booster, aside from just the W. Yeah, I think they're doing fine though. Like defend the bottom, split pushing top. The waves are pushed, so entire Team Dog's back. Look at the net worth, they're two, two on the top. Yeah, they're doing just fine. They, they might as keeping Nice Soccer into the game. I think Nice Soccer though, if he's going to the later stage of the game, he needs like a basher, really supplement his team's uh, his his usefulness. Because late game, his void is just not going to cut it as a disable. Yeah, a lot of Night Stalkers go like Armlet or AC or Basher, stuff like that. Like just items that give you some decent amount of attack speed. Uh, I think AC is a really good choice, especially when you have a Luna. I think AC might be ba better than Basher this game simply because there's a Viper on enemy side. Like if he just ults you, and he can, and he will. Although if you buy an AC, you're also giving into the Dark Seer too, basically. So, I don't know, I feel like Night Stalker is not going to have a good game this game. Beforehand, when it used to be nighttime and you were night sucker, you'd always use your ulti at nighttime. Do you think the change to his ulti has affected when you use the ulti? Oh, I think in mid game, no. Well, yeah, he, he didn't use yeah. his ulti at all that night. Maybe he just forgot. Well, if you use your Radiant's ulti now, I mean, it's used in the same attack. way. It's used in the same way, right? You either use it as like, oh crap, we're fighting, or you use it as I'm just going to extend the night, right? Yeah. I guess if you're just farming, you don't want to extend the night, right? Or you, it doesn't More, matter. It doesn't matter. Yeah, you I just, think you do it. If nothing what, else, it you do it no matter what. Division. Okay. Um, less chance. Yeah, actually, time. he has an axe up there. He yeah. should be extending it constantly. Yeah, I don't know. So maybe he thinks that they changed their buildings. It's worth saving. I don't think it is. How much? It's twenty-five percent, right? Yeah, on of building vision as well. Okay. That's actually kind of good, but it's I think it's only good for like the 15, 20 minute mark, you know, when the Night Stalker actually starts roaming by himself, pretty much. Well, he hasn't but done again, this game. But that's what I mean, yeah. like he hasn't done it because he can't. Um, is this true where uh, Night Stalker also reduced War Vision or no? Yeah. Okay. That's actually pretty insane. I think so, anyway. I'm not 100% done. Dyer's middle tower is under attack. Over, over. See what it says. Radiant's he, bottom he tower over. is under attack. Oh, that's oh, that's not yeah, but you should. Probably should, yeah. Yeah, you probably should. Pay attention to the game <laughs> shit. It's all right, man. Are we going to see a 2 2 trade? I don't Radiant's think... Bottom no, it's not going to be a trade. They're going to defend, I think. Yeah. Dyer's top oh, no, they're not. They're actually going to take mid. Oh, they're defending the mid tower. Dyer's there. structures oh. are fortified. Nice blink to No-Tail. No-Tail's got a uh, high-level compendium. Because if you do, when you <laughs> blink, there's a purple trail of dust or whatever. Could be. Get out of there, Era. Oh, he's good. Oh, he's not, man. The Reaper. BKB era, it's not gonna get affected by all those spells. MS that's gonna get blown up. And Chat Dota keeping him in place. Era just the biggest, baddest dog in the front line. Meanwhile, on the back line though, PyCat is going to work, but he's gonna get beamed on by Eclipse. He's quite low. These bounces are preventing that blink. He's trying to get run out of there, but he's gonna get blown back. They win that fight in front of a tier two. They're gonna get the tier two if Fata does not deny it. I don't think he will. Oh, he got it. Top tower well, I think they go for more. Yeah, Honey wants to go in, blink forward by Trixie and Pales, only get a hot hit on Honey. They might be able to get a return kill here. Fanta is so tanky, the four step away. Honey's gonna be able to make it out. They need to stop the blink though. No Tail actually ends up dying. They trade his life for Fanta's, which I think is more than worth it. There's four down right now. They can beam him back in and push. They can? Well, Dyer's top tower uh, is under attack. So, a couple of things about that fight. When they went in, PyCat was not there. Not there. Posh just ended up getting caught at the beginning. And then when PyCat goes to the fight, he goes for the coddle. Like, why would you go for the coddle? Well, the thing is, BKB is already activated on Era, so he does actually do no damage to the BKB. I think the BKB was almost done by the time PyCat was in the fight. Second BKB, like, he right? blinked in the back. 
I don't know. It was weird. And plus, because they had the Night Stalker Ag vision, normally you wouldn't be able to pop your Eclipse in a situation like that because, well, Those I guess you get Batrider vision as well, yeah. right? But you can juke into trees, but he couldn't, so he yeah. just ate the whole thing. The other thing is Fata teleported to the mid lane to shoot a Ag Scepter ultimate to No-Tail, which No-Tail just blinked it. Yeah. So they fought essentially without two of their cores. And yeah, Fnatic wins another fight. And almost Manta now on air. Actually, full Manta now on air. Oh, shit. Midas is starting to pay off, man. Yeah, Fnatic are pulling ahead in both experience and gold. So what is Team Doc's plan here? Are we trying to push more tier twos? Are we waiting and, and trying to... I think they oh, Go Roshan right now. Yeah, well, they got a DD on Fata, yeah. so they can rush. They're going to have BKB on Fata as well, which I think is pretty important. I don't think he's actually killable once he gets a BKB. I think BKB is the uh, wrong choice. What, for Viper? Yeah, at least at this, right now. I feel like he's already so tanky. What would you get? Damage. He's even getting something, well, I don't know if Manta is that great. It Manta helps you debuff the fear, if that's what you care about. Yeah, because last That's time true. when uh, Hani was so low, he fear fought uh, which gave him a 50% miss chance. Yeah. And he like the last two attacks missed. Yeah. And KB, I guess, would be pretty good as well. Oh. Fnatic, they want to come in. They're going to have full vision of this. Roshan's really low. Pipe popped already. Fata's got that DD. Roshan has to get the Aegis. And now Fnatic wants to get out of here. No, they actually initiate the fight. The Stampede's going to be popped. Three man vacuum and stop. Fly, though. The only one who gets hit by a double BKB is in the side of Fnatic. And Pycat, he's going to be in some trouble here. Fly, the first one to drop. And oh no, Pycat drops as well. Fata, he wants out of here. He's got the Aegis. The blink. And a nice stun. Echo Slam coming in from No Tail. Fata now going to be in some trouble. Aerith dropping as well on the hill. Now No Tail. He gets ulted by Fata. Getting kited out. He tries for the enchant totem, but he just can't do any damage. MSS surging back in. They want Trixie. The blink and pale. It's going to hit again. They have Spike Carapace, so he can't fire fly out. No more Trixie. The eye shot's burning him down. He's trying to get out of vacuum backwards. It's going to be a team wide going the other side. Team Dog wins a big one. Keep in mind that you have Aegis on Fata still. So wipes all over the place against each other. I think Misery is uh, correcting those two missing pills because yeah, he, he hasn't is. missed any since and he is going to get a either Hex or Shiva is finished. Yeah, if he wants a Shiva, so he'll have it very, very soon. I think he should go Hex, honestly. Yeah. I don't think Shiva's really gives them much here. I already have two BKBs in the side of Fnatic and we, I mean, Shiva's on, I guess, that Rider is nice for him running away, but you already have so many methods to deal with that. Mm -hmm. I just don't get why Fnatic keep initiating fights that they're not supposed to win anyway. Like it looked they pretty saw, close that fight. They, they saw really Roshan close. die, and then Trixie's like, all right, boys, we're going in. And then it's just like, why? That's the second time this game they forced a fight that I don't feel like they even had to take. They went on pass as well, and he just disrupted himself after, like, eating Lasso and a lot of damage. Yeah, I think pass is playing such a good job in terms of disrupting people that you're just forced to go on him, which he's a support Shadow Demon with a Force Staff. Sure, you could go on him. It's fine. Maybe Fnatic were assuming that if they managed to kill Poss, like straight up, just kill him in that situation, that they would be able to win the the fight pretty easily and then just kill Fata twice. Because the solo Viper can't really do anything with an Aegis, right? Like he, he'll just flop over the second time. Yeah. But I think they kind of forgot that Stampede's an ability in the game. And then they're... the team can be there like in a second. All right, know. they're fighting uh -oh. again. Misery breaks a smoke. Gem. Oh, nice blink. Nice blink, Gal. And Sappy's gonna use, so get, get out of there, fire, boys. Misery. Get in the fire. That's my boy. Nice Fissure blocking off everybody. That's a really good thing that Fissure yeah. was used because very dead Trixie at that point. Okay, so Dyer's let's suppose there's a big fight in the attack. middle of the river. Fnatic loses all five. Does Team Dog actually have the damage to get a Rax out of it? You get Centaur and tank the Zero. Yeah, the Centaur just walks into the tower and it dies pretty quickly. I think they have the damage. Okay. I'm just looking for ways that where Team Dog could blow the map wide open and, and take a Rax. Well, honestly, and I'm not sure if that's gonna happen. I think that Misery having a Hex would be giving them enough of an edge to be able to just win a fight straight up because up until this point, Fnatic have been the initiators. If Misery has a Hex, he can blink in and Hex immediately and go for a stun. And even if he dies, right, you have Stampede to follow it up. Pycat can blink in with his stun as well. And then that hero that they're going on, like you're basically relying on just no tail for counter initiation, more or less. Mm -hmm. I mean, a lasso is okay, but it's not going to stop the entirety of Dog from just smashing one person who can't move. 
So they're gonna know. find Fata top here with the uh, night vision. Are they gonna try to kill him? I don't think they can kill him. No, not with BKB axe up your Aegis. He is just. Where will you go now power. if you're Viper? We talked about Manta. We talked about Butterfly, MKB. MKB. I, I think, think MKB or Butterfly are both okay. What about something like an Aura for the team, like an AC? Um, I would probably leave the AC for Pycat to make later, like after his heart. It looks. What's Pycat's item? Pycat's got pipe and fit booster, so he's insanely tanky as well. Yeah. A funky mask. Misery. <laughs> a little bit, um... Bit of Tokyo drifting going on there. Yeah, it's fine. Don't get shit, man. Come on. Ah. It's night time. <laughs> oh. So both teams still kind of farming away here. I think that Dog needs to be very, very careful about how they play in the next, like, five to ten minutes. Mm -hmm. Because as soon as Aira gets a butterfly, things are going to start getting a little hairy. Like, granted, he was forced into buying a very quick BKB, so it's going to be a four-second BKB sooner rather than later, just something that maybe he doesn't want. But still, four seconds of Eclipse, getting a couple of auto attacks off when you're starting to deal substantially more damage than you were during the earlier phases. I think that he's become Radiant's significant enough of a threat where dogs attack. feel the pressure, right? Like, they kind of have to make something yeah. happen. Luna's one of them characters as well. When you win a fight, you can actually push really, really quickly. Whereas I don't think Dog have that same power. Yeah, I mean, again, there's the Centaur, but that's pretty much it. Yeah. Like, there's not much tower destruction going on. At the same time, even when the butterfly comes out, they still will have a Hex coming on Misery, which... Soon. Soon-ish. TM. Yeah. So the Hex is going to give them a lot of survivability. And you can see that Trixie, Radiant's he doesn't even want to initiate anymore. They're going to try to just put as much black span and time on this tower as much as, as long as they can. Bottom and tower they're actually doing a very good job. A lot of there goes your crew wave. It's very frustrating to try to break this team. Honestly. And they also had a pipe as well, like that was with a pipe. Yep. And yeah, I think uh, if Era is brave enough, he's going to go for a tower. No, not when somebody's teleporting in. But I think job accomplished for Fnatic. Defend the tower, sure they use the glyph, but they bought themselves a lot of time. If they could get a pick off right now, Fnatic could buy themselves at least a minute and a half. Yeah, they're going for it as well. Hani's got the gem. He's also got the, uh, the BKB. It's so good. They can see Pyga as well. Oh, they're going for Misery. Misery can't blink away from this one. Fear is going to be on top of it. No snap. He's going to be used. That's one kill. Everybody's teleporting Guys. in. Fisher's going to be there, Where's so... The on the he floor? dropped it. There was another gem, I think. Ah. Right? Like, he dropped it for something. Oh, Fata's yeah. going to pick up Fly. Can he TP out? Uh, no, he's okay, back. Poor Fly, man. He's just, like, focused every he's single like, don't fight. worry, guys. I got him. It's going to be you with the cosplay, Lumi. Distraction successful. Call. Okay. I don't know if that was actually not skilling his ulti. Really? Yeah, he's got level 2 enchant. Could have just been a mess click, I guess. I'd say so. Might have given the benefit of the doubt, man. That guy's got sick micro skills. Well, I was watching his stream yesterday and he walked his amiibo into a tier 2 tower and died, and he was like. Listen, sick micro <laughs> skills, alright? <laughs> actually, no, 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 there's a fully justifiable uh, time. If you use your echo in the middle of a fight, you level up, put it in chat. Like, if you want to enchant right there, right? Yeah, if you had already used your ulti, yeah, then you get, like, the level after the ult was used. Oh, that word didn't see that coming. I think it's just because they want more single-target focus damage, whereas getting an extra point into your enchant, I think... No, I think it was definitely mistake. Situation. All right, listen, man. <laughs> Trying to get people to benefit from Not doubt. a no-tell fan. <laughs> Rune of Destiny, man. Aero stalking his team. Damage. Let's go, boys. Get that T1. Tier 1's still alive. Holy crap. It's gold in the bank. They should... They sh <laughs> Arrow wants it so bad, he's like, I'm gonna get that tower. It's like one hit. I see Shane and I are sp speaking the same vocabulary. Like, team's getting wrecked. It's okay, man. Gold in the bank. All Dude, I think more than just you and Shane say people are getting wrecked. No, no. Gold in the bank. Gold in the bank for those tier one towers. Those games where you just lose, you lose all your other towers and they have all their towers. That's like every game I play with you guys. We lose all our towers. Uh, you get too mad. We never you get the other relax. towers. Man, you just like always blame your team. Yeah, yeah. We just like there's no synergy. All right, Shane snowballed five of our heroes into death. Yeah, that was pretty bad. <laughs> we were <on> <laughs> and there was an axe with a blink dagger. We were fucked. No, we we're not. I'm gonna show you the replay so you yeah, can see the error yeah, of your cool. ways. Show me the replay. It's gonna be fine. Yeah. Okay, so Arrow's got his butterfly done. Uh, next item for him could be full satanic if he wants to just be a little bit tankier. I think 
Satanic is still kind of not amazing here. Just because I don't know like what his uptime is on his auto attacks. You know, like how long is he really gonna be able to just continually hit with Satanic activated? It really depends on when Dyer's he activates that BKB, right? Like because yeah. his dog is so burst centric. And also you gotta keep in mind that no tell all he needs to do is fissure in this fight, and if he gets one or two auto attack off, like that's he's full. So I, I actually think Titanic is much of the safest item because you, you know you get the Reaver on top of that, so yeah, he has yeah. a lot of strength. You can stun the burst. Hmm. Evans Hopper, that's a, a big pickup against Luna when his BKB is down. Yeah. Also nice for the evasion. Like in terms of effective HP, getting evasion when you have like over 2,000 health and a decent amount of armor is an amazing way to be able to increase yep. survivability. So, max. Yep, mid max, man. Beautiful. Uh oh, Trixie, get caught. He's fine. There's the pipe. There's a creep that ran the other way. Oh my god. They're gonna lose the tower, but that's fine. Radiance middle tower. I think losing a territory at this point is completely. I think Era is like. Look at Era on the mid lane. He's creep cutting with his Manta. Where are you at, guys? Wait, that wasn't a Manta, that was only Yeah, yeah, yeah. Really. They can't push. They yeah. cannot. They got one terror, but... The means are getting a bit sore. Now it's starting to get to that stage in the game where I think even if they just, like... If they ganked Era with two people, I don't think he dies. I think that you have to gank him with, like, three or four now. Yeah. Well, there is Stampede, so if... I mean, maybe away, if it yeah. was Shadow Demon Dyer's bottom tower and is under a tower. Tower. No, I don't even know if that would kill him, but speaking of dying, Pycat gonna get caught here middle lane. Misery blinks in, gets a stun on just Trixie, though. No tail with the fissure, defensive disruption pretty much after all the spells had already been used. Not sure if that was necessary, but they want to finish the sap. Honey, his ult's gonna wear off. Here comes the Stampede. They're gonna be able to find him. And there goes the gem. Or at least one of them. No tail, no -tail gets hexed up, blinking on top of him on a drain, but he's not moving much. No tail, enchant to them, suns himself. Poison is gonna cancel the blink. That's two kills for free, and they want a little bit more MSS. Chasing will surge. Vacuum back right there. The big flame break pushing MSS back. No back off. They lost two heroes though. Very importantly, no tail. He has buyback, and so does Hani. Boys, we're going to 79. Fade it out. They should have done blink out there, didn't they? Yeah, they went to try to kill Pycat. Why? Yes, like, yeah, exactly. Why? Well, I think it would have been okay if Arrow was there. Like, they would have for sure killed him if yeah. Arrow was actually there. But he, was. But he wasn't. But, yeah, and, and they were so far away from their towers. Like, Tier 2 is right next Radiance to Team Dog. They're not buying back in this way of MIA. Yeah, there's no creeps. Radiant structures are fortified. I think it still has no regen, though. Like, no backdoor protection. Yeah, yeah it doesn't. Simply. Oh, here comes some Manta images, but they're just going to get disrupted to make oh, an illusion war. Okay. Oh, Pycat's too far out. He's going to get lassoed inside of the base. Do they have the damage to follow up? Aaron pretty much has to go on this. Here comes the Stampede. He's going to pop the PKB, but the Demonic Perch, so he's still there. Fata throws out the ultimate as well. The Fissure blocks him into base. MSS and Fata can't get out, man. It was a trap the whole time. Well, MSS makes it out, but unfortunately, Fata does not. Base defended. Oh, not mana for out. Break. You had stick. Nah, I would have been really close either way. I think he had flame break cooldown and lack of mana, but no, he didn't no, have four watch cooldown. You sure? Yeah. Sure about that? We're gonna check the replay and we're gonna check the replay. <laughs> yeah, but now it's getting a little bit out of control in terms of how much farm era has. Like before he was staying kinda neck and neck with Pycat mm -hmm. and Vata. Now he's a full item ahead of them. Right, so is that a satanic? And uh, obviously yeah. I think Viper is not even close of a late game carry compared to Luna. Well, not many heroes are, man. Yeah. Luna's one of the harder carries in the game. But uh, I'm, I'm going to ask you, is, is Dog out of this game? Because they just lost two heroes, Fnatic, in, in the river. Hani and No Tail. None of them buy back. Defended, and they even picked off, you know. Mm -hmm. I don't think they're out of the game. I think it's their disadvantage, though. Like, I think it's pretty easy to say that. I still think Shadow Demon's like super good against Luna. Even the more M she gets, the stronger Shadow Demon. Sure, gets. but like again, how do you ever push against Fnatic? Push their base. Necrobook. The Luna man. Yeah, I don't think Necrobook does it. We'll I actually thought. 
Oh, well, initiation is gonna go on. Pass is gonna get dragged on the high ground. Misery's gonna stun him with. Oh, we're just gonna be on top. There's BKB. BKB. He's off the BKB. No, oh, no he's he burned the oh, fire. Never mind. But Pass is gonna be in trouble. On the back line here, do they have equipped? Have they used it yet? I'm not too sure. MSF getting the right click. He's trying to surge around and run away. No one more record from Bright Rider. Get some arrow. He's uh, on top of that. Another fissure. These fissures are winning them the game. And Pell's gonna be there, but the Glaive are bouncing off of everybody. Misery's gonna be dead as well. They're wiping them. Oh, what a big vacuum. They can't chase up there, I don't think. No, Honey's chasing. He, he doesn't care. YOLO. And uh, five Their resolutions are annihilating them in the boost. Yeah, yeah. Nice. he's gonna oh, die. Oh, Aerith's gonna okay. die too. Shadow Demon annihilated him. Okay. He got. He so got solo oh, killed by yeah. Shadow Demon. And Aerith's going back. He's gonna get sent Radiant's back in here. They're gonna attack. get boss killed? Yeah, they're gonna get boss killed. Oh. oh. Alright. Alright. Dota crashed. Yeah, that was weird because it seemed like. Wait, who crashed? Was it Era? Well, Era bought back, so I don't think so. Yeah. Did he get bashed by Roshan? Is that why yeah, he died? Yeah, yeah, okay. I was gonna say, because he was just standing there, but I didn't catch if he got bashed or not, so. Yeah. Shadow Demon, man. What a hero. Told you. Forming vacuum wall, and Hani was just chasing him. No, but in. literally, all he did was disrupt him, and he died. No, it was Era who crashed, but I guess he crashed after he bought out. Not the. Maybe he was trying to hide what he did. It was a crash price. He's like, all that for? <laughs> crash. You're sitting beside me. Fine, man. I'm back on Viper's face. That's what Andy looks like in the morning. <laughs> Dude, that's what I look like all the time. <laughs> we laughed too hard at that. No, I mean... <laughs> it's fairly accurate. It's, it's, it is accurate. Whatever, man. You had a very good picture of you when you were selling out with that uh, monster helmet. Oh, yeah, the construction hat with the monster sticker Yeah, on. there was like four comments, like, and he's actually smiling. Yeah. Little did he know he's smiling. I'm not always happy, but when I am, I'm wearing a monster construction hat. <laughs> Weapons, you should go into photography. This is beautiful. That's yeah, pretty good. Oh, yeah, that's Trixie flying above him. I was like, what the hell is that? <laughs> what the hell is going on? Dun, dun, oh, my God, it's epic. back in the game so hopefully we'll have uh, everything resolved and we can get back underway so assuming that Fnatic's gonna get the Aegis because you know Luna just poured it in actually yeah. I'm not even sure that you had like Viper is gonna just shoot no Viper strikes for days right no. all right assume they get the Aegis is this a, a clear Fnatic win because he had to buy back for the Aegis right Radiance yeah but it's the same thing as earlier this one's attack. a little bit more costly but there's also more they can gain from this. Like, they can get the tier 2 as well. Radiance bottom or tower mid. Is doesn't really matter which one they go for. They can do either. Also, I'm surprised that Trixie initiated last fight without activating his BKB. We saw Misery being able to you know, exit him or use spike here. But no, I think it was okay. Because you can reactionary BKB other heroes blinking on you when their stuns have an animation. Like, Centaur has an animation. If Misery blinked with Hex, that would have been different. Radiance middle but tower I think he is just under felt a little bit safe. Although, Trixie kind of just goes ham. He's done a That's his job. Yeah. Yeah, Viper is just going ham right now. He's walking in, getting more. No questions asked. Here comes the ultimate. Flash, flash, that's why me. He's just straight up dead. Meanwhile, the back line here. No tail, no dropping low. Where's the cheese? He picked it up and ate it. Okay. No tail, what a player. All right, he's still alive right now. But here comes a big flame break. One on, on top. This has got the blink. Way back in. And chat told him no tail. Going to work. Kill Pycat. No. He gets sun. He's going to get double edge. Aishat's going to get the kill. He blinks back out. Meanwhile, Era just can't keep up with all these blink daggers. No tail missed with the jump. Yeah, that's what helmet tower He hit the, the ground does. so hard <sighs> that he like lost feelings in his he hand when he tried to swing it. It's like you ever went golfing with somebody and they just throw the club when they swing? That's pretty much what I imagined. No tail just No. Did. He's gotta be so sad. Because if that hit, that he was definitely yeah, killing 100%, him. Yeah, 100%. Yeah. Like 25% of the time, you'll miss it. And if they don't, you traded an Earthshaker for Fata. Trade. That's fine. Do you still you still get the return proc as well, don't you? Even if yeah, because it starts or it hits you I, at the start of the animation. Yeah, when they start attacking. So it doesn't matter if you hit him or not. Fly, work to the secret shot, my man. Pick up that point booster. Oh no, fly! No fly. He's got no. mech. He's fine. Yeah. Okay, yeah, not, not, maybe no. not fine. He's got a he's hex. Got mech. He's got a hex. Okay. No. He's dead. I like how Lumi always hypes the totally dead heroes. Nah, man. He's like, no, man, he's killing it. No, he's in it. All right, he's dead. You had faith in him. I had faith. Oh, there you go. If he walked to you to get a point booster, he would have been fine. 
and then sold it after he got away. Would he really? Would he really be fine? Yeah. yeah. So note that as a big EB. Yeah, it's a good item, man. You know how annoying it is for an Earthshaker to blink in and get Carapace stun? Like, that's honestly the worst, because it's not even just about the damage that you do, it's about having them stunned for a specific amount of time, right? Yeah, like, because you need to do your thing. Yeah, so if you go in and you echo and you get Carapace, you can no longer do your combo and they just turn around and turn you into Who space dust space and then you're just sad. So BKB is really good. Yeah, and he's one of those heroes that doesn't really care what the duration of his BKB is, as long as you get off your combo. Yep. So, like, so it's, it's always good. Here, let me just, I'll hold it so you don't have to keep moving this. Look at this tower. Did he leave this here as bait? Absolutely. No, I think they just forgot. They're gonna like, somebody's gonna casually walk by it and be like, oh yeah, I should probably deny this. But we mentioned it earlier, man. You go a long game against the Luna and you are not gonna have a great time. I don't know, Shadow Demon soloed him. That's what I'm saying. 29 more minutes to go, boys. Let's go nag at him, son Shadow Demon. Yep. It's Ooh. actually pretty legit in this yeah, game. Yeah, it is. Because yeah, you can purge the Night Stalker and you can purge Trixie and you can purge Luna, um, Luna as well. Like, there's three yeah. pretty viable targets for it. So, all in all, he m he could finish it, but he's still missing like 2,000 gold. So Now, is that better just getting Hex, hex straight up? I think Obviously, I, Hex is, you hex know, a bit... better than Aghanim's ulti? Yeah. yeah, of course. So It costs me money, though. It's like sure. 1,500 gold more, 1,600 yeah. gold more. Which is a lot. It's like 50% yeah. of the original growth. The thing is, I don't think finishing an Axe Scepter gives you that impact. Oh. When, when Feck and Hani's walking around at one mile an hour. Well, you already have Viper Strike. The whole thing about Team Dog right now is that they have to play Kite Dota. Like, the only person who can take any damage outside of PyCat is Fata. If anybody else really gets focused, they kind of flop over. So I do think that having two purges could be a pretty big deal. Not sold. Maybe it's a hidden Scotty. Look, when, when Viper has an Axe Scepter ultimate, that's already essentially a purge. Yeah, but Hani is still wise. able to hit people in teamfights, and so is Era. The whole purpose is to be able to try to avoid them from having a decent amount of uptime while their BKBs are active, and then once they're down, you turn it around with stuns. <laughs> you know, the the dragon's having a great love. Dragon looks way too happy to be a dragon. You saying you wouldn't be happy if you were a dragon? Yeah. Would I ever be happy? <laughs> yeah. If you were a dragon. Okay, maybe. <laughs> we'll see, man. Those oh, golems, oh. that's... Okay, that's... ...in the morning. <laughs> I just wake up with that frown on my face. I'm just like, I don't want to be awake right now. <sighs> Way more accurate. That's pretty good. That's true, man. So who are we actually paused for right now? I don't know what's going on. Oh. All right, well. There's our faces. Here's my awesome screen that I get to use. I usually just put it here because it's... That's why I was doing this, like... Yeah, because Shane always has to, like, go like this and move it forward so he can see the actual in-game spectator screen because we got, got high level production value. <sighs> that was loud. You just had to wait for the silence to open that? What is it? Well, we can't say. Can't say? They're not getting free sponsorships. I'm going to lean back and drink anything, this. <laughs> man. All we're going to say... All we're going to say is that it's delicious. Just oh, actually, wait. no, that's not. That's... No, that's ours. That's awful, yeah. Bad choice. Thank you. Should have had this. <laughs> it was just like... <laughs> I wish, it, like, the audience knows what I got because they saw me walking around with it, but... Nobody at home knows because we don't care about you. No, we do. What's going on in the game? Nothing much. Uh, uh, somebody's... Something. I don't know, dude. Trixie I think Fnatic actually... Right. Like, I want a stat. I want a stat of the, the most pause time of any team. I think Fnatic would be number one. Like, Why? by a mile. Yeah. Why? They always have stuff like this. Really? Yeah. They're busy people. This time's Team Dog. You can't blame Isn't it on yeah, them. Yeah, but I'm just saying, like, I think Fnatic would be number one. Team speak. And the first time it was Fnatic. Only Team Speak is down for Misery. Hmm. And Honey just... No-tail, plug, just use recall. in-game, bro. <laughs> use in-game, yeah. Super high quality. Use the mouse wheel thing. Yeah, that should be one of the stretch goals, right? Like, increase the quality of in-game audio. Holy shit, would buy Compendium for that. Or yeah. would accept donation for Compendium <laughs> for that, because we can't actually buy... <laughs> we can't actually buy our own Compendiums. <sighs> Listen, man, for four ninety nine a month, you could feed Skrift. Don't touch up to his ch channel. Yeah. <laughs> doesn't even love you. What? I love all my kids. One of them was in my channel and was like, do you know this guy? And you were like, no, nah, I don't know who he is. 
the guy. He was a sub. He was actually, yeah, and he was really pissed. And I was like, it's okay. Dude, I've never seen that guy talk before. He's a sub, bit. The thing is, there's so many yeah, yeah. that some people you don't, don't, don't talk. Yeah. There's just a number to you. Yeah, exactly. Sub number 102. As Shane and Luminous' stream, we treat you with respect and dignity. Yeah. Unless you feed in our games, which I fly. Okay, you guys literally feed every game. No, we don't. <laughs> every 80% game. win rate. 80 you guys got to be on some like next level trench. Yeah, it's the potato bracket. You're in there too. Don't even laugh. Everyone's in the potato bracket. It never ends. No, it's... It's just like... Everyone, yeah. It's like the bottom of the potato, and there's the top. You don't want to be the root. Yeah, you don't want to be the... Well, the potato is a root. Well, you don't want to be the bottom of the root then. Yeah. Sure. I don't know what we're waiting on. Will you stop pressing the thumbs or keys? You don't it's even a good segue for it's highest the quality perfect cherry. Choice for yeah. gaming Dota 2. Not playing. Hello, gaming. We no. just really fucked up my head. Sorry. Yeah, me too. <laughs> Please stop. I heard you were running out of topics to talk. No, we weren't. We were talking about the Tumzer keys. Excuse me. That counts of running out of topics to talk. They're pretty about. good. They're pretty good, right? What do they do? I don't know. They do nothing. <laughs> Is any of these F9? You have to bind them. Let's bind them. Bind them right now. Come on. I can't see him binding them. How do you mm. bind this? What do you mean, how do you... In the... Oh. You got a binder. Right. You go to the options, and you bind it to Where's something. Where's the options? Well, have you installed the driver to begin I with? don't know. I It's not on my computer. Have you tried turning it off and on? Is no, it plugged in? It is plugged in, Andy. It pretty much is, yeah. You don't You're checking that. Twitter. Know. That's not... It's <laughs> not on Twitter. What? You're, I'm gonna you're, ask you're, you're how do... I'm gonna, I'm gonna tweet at Appy. How do you, you, should, you should do that. You <laughs> should do that. <laughs> Live on TV. What a segment. But you're not doing that. It's Come on. Um, Follow what? through. Follow through what? Are we actually binding? Oh, oh the game's oh, back. Thank, thank Jesus. goodness. God, thank goodness. dude. It was getting rough. All right, they're going to gang misery, and he's going to be dead. I'm going to say, what do you get on a uh, Coddle with 2K gold? You get an Axe Scepter. No, I don't think you get Or Midas into Axe Scepter. Oh, right in the face. <laughs> Got him. That is... At the point in the game where I'd be like, all right, boys, you just got everything space created. And then could play in it. Yeah, mainly a chain. Because Lumi can't take it. Oh, that'd be next level, wouldn't it? Get a Agonims on Colin and switch the gem when it turns night and day. Why would you ever take the gem off the Night Stalker? Because Colin gets daytime vision. But the Coddle is not leading the charge into team In fights. this case, he is forward. No, people just come at him. <laughs> Why he's is he constantly still limping. Dyer's bottom Maybe he's like doing his spear impersonation, Dyer's man. Dyer's bottom tower that. has fallen. Oh my God. Shout out to I watched his stream yesterday. Wait, is he feeling better? Apparently. He said he's at like 80%. Nice. That must go away. Casual self disruption inside of the base. He's afraid of Bat Rider. Oh, look at really Ward. To be honest, that's yeah. tech right there. Yeah, good, player. good tech. Yeah. I don't know why tech? I started with the tech thing. <laughs> it's fucking ridiculous. I think you need to learn what that Dyer's word means. Tower is under no, attack. when you do something new, at least in fighting game, like when there's like a new. But that's mood. technique. Yeah, that's something yeah. new tech. But you said we have the technology. It's earlier. just like I messed up the same word. Remember Shredonger? They totally, yeah. Sh <laughs> Shredonger, and you're like, shit, you don't know what you're talking about. It's way over your head, <laughs> shit. Throw a dinger. Having too much fun with the. It's alright, man. Like, Fnatic. Dog. Oh, Ooh. actually, here's the thing. Like, can be crazy. If people Dyer's play like robots tower. and there's no mistakes, attack. look at his numbers. It doesn't matter. Numbers don't mean anything. Yeah. Like, numbers don't mean anything. No, guys, he literally went to school look, for math. If, if Fnatic just runs at, at the enemy fountain and dies, like, it doesn't matter, right? So if Fnatic make a mistake, Team mm. Doctor win. Genius. Computers what did playing. you even just say? I'm if so lost. If they run into the enemy fountain Did you actually die, say anything? Matter. Yes! <laughs> You're just like, if the other team makes a mistake, this team will know shit. <laughs> no, here's the thing though, Fnatic, <clears throat> they have a bigger room for mistake. Hmm. <laughs> because they have a big lead. Yeah. Man, fuck both of you guys. I, I just feel like there's <laughs> this, like, racist thing going on right now. Like, the only Chinese guy up in this Dyer's cast, middle the only guy with hair. How can it be racist when we're all different, what like, did, did you pull the race I'm American, car? he's I, Irish. Dyer's I could always pull the race car here. No, and I can't. No, you white. Jeez.
techies. It's really gone downhill the last five minutes, Dyer's hasn't it? Middle tower when the techies is under attack. Here we go. Here's the engagement. We, we've been looking for it. Hani, kill the courier, Ooh, please. Courier. He's got the gem. Next in the hand, they're going for lasso. They're going to find misery. Is there going to be any follow? No kill actually goes for the stun onto the centaur. Pops the echo as well. They want pie cat. He's not able to pop the stampede yet. There we go. Finally gets it off, but he's going to get mini stun here. Manalik as well. That's going to be another pick. Maybe. Oh, more sack out. He's still alive. Oh, yeah, Hani just hits him. Oh, shit. I kind of stopped. I forgot about the call change with the new mana league. It's like, what? Three seconds. Three seconds. Three seconds. Three seconds. Fucking stone. It's like, what? All right, Era has a Scotty. Yep, they're going to go high ground. Mid. Dyer's middle tower. He didn't even need a coach for that one. Cool. Yeah. Do they have buyback? Thingies. Come on, Lumi. Things. All right. They they have buyback. No, they don't. Do it properly. Look. No, Radiant has buybacks. Dyer's middle tower is under attack. Dyer's structures are fortified. You need a monster, man. You need a brain lag to stop Toss. Gonna get caught again. Here comes the lasso. Hana getting another kill. Now tied up in terms of kills, but I think it's safe to say that uh, Fnatic had a pretty substantial lead at this point. Can, even, can Shadow even come close? Because the Burns are gonna annihilate. Yeah, this is where Luna becomes ridiculously scary because the Glaives actually just kill your team. A casual wall for Hera. Oh no, Burge is going to be there. He's not moving. There's a tax something here. Nice. Fine. He also can't lifesteal off illusions. He's right now. He's getting wrecked up. He has BKB Satanic. He's fine. Oh, watch over the hex. Okay, he got one stun. BKB. Oh, Satanic's going to come through. Hasn't even used any clubs again. Nobody need to close the loop. Man, we got big blink. And chat. Oh, the physical damage to cut me out. Here comes the GG being caught by Misery. A harder and victory for Fnatic, but uh, very well played actually. You called him in there, but started to give him the Fnatic victory. You can drag it out. And you guys say I don't know? Oh, I, I always said what's funny, always point. gets minus. Yeah, they do. Yeah, they do. They clearly didn't. Well, Fnatic did. But the two people that were dead didn't. Who cares about them? <laughs> They're all dead. Alright, so again, very well played.